This is going to be a very quick video just showing you a quick tip and pro tools on how to just speed up one of those little things that just kind of drives you nuts. And that is when you make a track and the output is just going to somewhere that isn't helpful for you. So take this song, for example, all of my tracks eventually go to my mains mix bus here, which I have labeled that bus mains. Now, if I make a new track, which can be done with shift command and let's just go with a mono track and we'll call it example. All right. We've got our example track, and if we look at our outputs, I'll make this a little bigger for us. It is going out to our monitor outputs, which isn't actually good because while we will hear it, it isn't going through our mix bus uh, where all of the other tracks are being summed, and that can lead it to delay compensation issues. And it's also just going to bypass like our master limiter and all of that sorts of stuff. So it's not helpful. And while I can just go and then manually reassign that to our mains bus, it's now done. You can actually skip that step and make it so that it just goes there automatically every single time. And that's what I want to show you. You're just going to head to setup and go to IO and then go make sure you are on the bus tab. There's a whole bunch of them here, but go to bus and then there is a default output bus. And what you select here is what all new tracks are going to be automatically routed to. So we can just go select that and go find the bus that we want all new tracks to be routed to in this case, mains. One quick note is that you have to do this for both mono and stereo, or really any format that you would want to update. So I just did it for stereo, but I also have to go into mono now and find that same bus and click mains again. And yeah, you don't have to have them the same. You can set them to whatever you want. But in this case, I want them all to go to that same master bus. Now I click OK, and let's make a couple examples. So I'll make one mono, and let's go click this plus icon and make one stereo as well. Call the first one mono example and the second one stereo example. All right, and now we go look and they're both routed to the mains. So that is done for us and it will remember that so that I can just make new tracks throughout the life of the session and never run into that again. It's one of those little things that just makes life easier so you can spend more time mixing, recording, whatever you want to be doing and less time worrying about clicking the routing bus menus and all that baloney. Okay, so I hope this helped you. If it did, please do subscribe or leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Totally appreciated, helps this channel grow. And if you wanna see another video, there's one coming for you right here and right here.